Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. My name is Dylan and I'm going to share with you some cool Canadian quarters today. So I'm going to try and keep it interesting on this channel. Uh, switch it up, take some quarters from north of the border in case you're getting bored of the United States coins. We're going to make some Canadian coin videos for you today. Now we have a special one right here. This is a commemorative issue 1973 25 cent piece right here. This is actually a nickel, but it's a cool commemorative coin, so I threw that into the list. And this one up here, this is where Canada really tries to trick you and confuse you. Because the one on the left right here is made out of a different metal content than the one on the right. I'll try and get the same angle there, but you can see the different metal contents, and they have the exact same year. This is 1968, and that is 1968 as well. However, what makes this coin different from these other three right here is that that one up there is silver. In fact, that one is 50% silver. The rest of them are all nickel. So the easiest way that you can tell that that is silver is by taking out your uh, little portable scale and by weighing them. So the silver one should weigh, uh, should weigh, excuse me, 5.83 grams and the nickel one should weigh 5.05 grams so let's put them on the scale and see how that turns out so i'm uh, gonna let the scale set to zero so this is the nickel one right here try and get it in the center of the scale for you and we're at 5.09 now it should weigh 5.05 so that's pretty close considering the scale isn't the most accurate thing now here is the silver one this one should weigh 5.83. Let's see what it weighs. 5.88. So definitely uh, this one is made out of silver. Another way that you can tell is by flipping it on its side. You can see a little bit more of a clear difference in the rim as far as the coloring of the coin. You can, this is a good way of seeing it as well. Uh, but I think 1968 is the main key year that the Canadian coins were made out of silver, or at least some of them were. In 1968, there were 71 million that were made out of silver. And just to confuse everyone, there were 88 million that were made out of the nickel. All right, now let's get into that uh, cool top 10 list. Uh, so this looks, list of top 10 rare Canadian coins is kind of cherry picked uh, from the website uh, road to wealth and freedom .com. There's a there's a list on there, except I'm just going to talk about some of the modern ones that they discuss on that channel. And we'll save uh, this five cent uh, nickel commemorative issue nickel right here uh, for later in the video. So stick around so you can see that for sure. All right. So this is actually one of them on the list, but it isn't the one that we're going to start with. So let's start uh, back in 1967. Uh, so we're going to talk about one rare Canadian quarter per decade. Uh, so the 1967 Bobcat Nickel Pattern Quarter. Uh, most people instantly recognize the iconic Bobcat coin that was produced in 1967. Uh, the Royal Canadian Mint minted about 50 million of these brilliant silver quarters. Uh, the silver variety is actually quite common and not a rare coin by any measure. However, a small number believed to be about 5 to 10 of the pattern 1967 quarters were struck in nickel. Uh, these coins are quite rare and typically fetch three to $5,000 at auction. So quite a lot of money there. That's the 1967 uh, Bobcat quarter that struck in nickel. So all of those coins were supposed to be struck using silver. And that one is actually struck in nickel. And it's estimated that there are five to 10 of those out there. Now, this one right here actually comes in at number two on the list, jumping a decade forward to the 1970s. This is the 1973 Large Bust Mountie Quarter. Now, I don't think this one is actually a rare one. I don't think this is one of the error ones, but I sure do wish it was. Uh, but it's nonetheless, it's still pretty cool because it is a commemorative quarter. And you guys on this channel know how much I like those circulating commemorative coins. You can pull them right out of circulation. They're generally only made for one specific year. So this one was made in 1973. And on the obverse, uh, it's just regular Queen Elizabeth II at age 39. On the reverse, which you're looking at right here, is a mounted Royal Canadian RCMP, Royal 
Canadian Mounted Police Officer is possibly, uh, you guys can let me know if that's not the acronym for RCMP, officer is surrounded with the face value and in the inscription Canada in the dates 1873 to 1973. Uh, so that's to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I believe that's what uh, RCMP stands for, but I could be wrong. All right, so let's talk about the specific air coin related to this 1973 quarter. Uh, with less than 10,000 pieces being believed to have been made, the 1973 large bust quarter is one of the more popular uh, rare Canadian coins. In 1973, to commemorate the 100th birthday oh, of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, uh, the Mint produced hundreds of millions of quarters that depicted the Mountie on horseback, which is what you're looking at right here on the reverse. A small number uh, were made using the obverse of the 1972 quarter. Uh, circulated examples can be, can be uh, purchased for around $150, while the mid-state examples can be found for around three to $500. Now, I did a lot of research about this coin, and unfortunately, I don't think it's one of the error coins. So the large uh, bust error coins have the dots that are further apart from each other, and they're closer to the outside of the coin. The ones that have the dots that are real narrow are what's supposed to be there. So unfortunately, uh, kind of like what you see a lot on my videos, this isn't actually a rare coin. Um, but if you have one that looks like this, except the dots are a little bit wider, uh, the bust is bigger, and the dots are closer to the edge, that could be your quarter. That could be your key to a $150 coin. All right, jumping forward to the next decade, the 1983 Caribou Quarter. Um, the Caribou Quarter isn't particularly rare, but it's the rarest one of the 80s, so that's how it made it on the list. In 1983, uh, there were a little over 19 million pieces made uh, in certified mint condition. Those can sell for $20 to $30. All right, and next on the list, going into the 90s, everyone likes the 90s, uh, the 1992 uh, Provincial Quarter with Rotated Die Air. Ooh, that sounds exciting. So the Royal Canadian Mint celebrated Canada's 125th birthday in 1992 by releasing a special commemorative provincial uh, quarter each month. In general, these coins are not as rare a at all. Uh, many were saved and put away as keepsakes, which a lot of people did with the bicentennial quarters here in the United States. Uh, that said, uh, some provincial quarters have a type of minting error called a rotated die, all that means is that if you look at the obverse side, the queen right here, and you turn the coin around, the portrait on the reverse will be rotated 90 degrees or 180 degrees. So that'd be like if you took it like this and then you flipped it over and it was actually like that. So that'd be pretty wild. That'd be pretty crazy. That, uh, I guess, happened a lot in the 1992 uh, quarter for that commemorative issue. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one. The next one is a one that you might uh, be able to find. It's the 2000P Caribou Quarter. Uh, so around the turn of the millennium, the Royal Canadian Mint uh, began experimenting with nickel plating around steel inner core. That sounds like it could get interesting. Uh, as many of you know, whenever the mints start experimenting with uh, different metal contents, you get error coins. It's just how it works. Uh, the coins were struck with a small P on the obverse side. A very small number of 2,000 P quarters were released into public circulation. Uh, if you find one of these in your change, the ultra-rare 2,000 P quarter is worth as much as $10,000. So 2,000, you're probably not thinking it's a rare year, but if you have one of those 2,000 P quarters for the Canadian quarter, uh, it could be worth as much as $10,000 according to this source. All right, so there's, uh, moving on, the 2000 Millennium Map Mule and 2007 Wheelchair Curling Mule are a couple of uh, other errors that came out in 2000. Uh, but that's kind of enough on the uh, quarter error list there. Let's talk about the uh, last coin that I kind of started the video with, and that's the nickel. So that list uh, was just kind of a list that I put together from 
from some selections that are listed on the uh, my road to wealth and freedom dot com backslash rare Canadian quarters. So that guy has a list there and I just picked a few of them. So if you enjoyed that list, uh, you can check out his site for more uh, rare Canadian quarters. You'll see I skipped over, if you go to the list, you'll see I skipped over a lot of them. Uh, and those were just the early quarters. Um, you know, obviously, if you have a quarter that's from 1920 or before, or like 1915 or 1906 or, 19, or 1893, those quarters are going to be worth a lot of money. Uh, but this is kind of the everyday person's uh, coin collecting channel. So we try and focus on coins that you can actually find. That's why we started in the 60s, went all the way to 2000s, and gave you some good coins to look for there. All right, so this one right here. It is another commemorative coin. Let me get you a little bit of info on it. This one came out in 1967. Uh, it features the uh, a reverse that has a hopping rabbit. It's surrounded with the face value and the inscription, Canada 1867 to 1967. So this is the 100th anniversary of Canada. The uh, obverse is just Queen Elizabeth II at age 39, so we'll skip looking at that. The mintage for this little nickel is uh, 36.8 million. Its metal content is, as you would imagine, nickel. All right, I'll start to sign off. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, subscribe. As you guys know, that helps uh, promote the channel to other people. Uh, if you want to leave any comments, any suggestions, I appreciate those. Uh, and most importantly, take care, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.